All right, guys, it is 940. We'll go ahead and uh, close today's class. Just a quick summary. Today, we worked in our teams. We're now assigned a new team to answer questions. All right, so today we spent time uh, working on answering the questions. Remember that when we organize our ideas, when we answer the questions, we don't have to mention the questions. We want to focus only on the answers and how we want to organize the two to four key points that are going to make up the answers to the questions. So remember in this way, each of those two to four points, you can create uh, headings to list each of those points. And also the mind map, the new mind map that you're going to create today for answering the questions are also going to include those two to four key points. The, uh, this task that we started today, I'm going to give everyone until tomorrow. Uh, if you need extra time to either uh, work with your groups outside of class or if you want to take time tomorrow, we'll have some time in class tomorrow after our listening activity. I'm sorry, our speaking activity. Tomorrow, our speaking activity will begin right at 8 o'clock. So please arrive a few minutes early so that we can begin uh, right at 8 o'clock. I'll present a question. I'll pause for about one minute. And then I'll begin randomly choosing each of you to answer uh, the question. Each one of you will have one minute to answer the question. I've uploaded a rubric. I'm, uh, if you go into Microsoft Teams, I posted this morning at 8.53. It says, today's speaking activity, a link to the rubric. So you might want to take a look at this rubric before tomorrow so you know what to expect. This is what I'll be looking for. Uh, this is what I'll be listening for. Delivery, language use, and topic development. Okay, so take a quick look at this rubric before tomorrow. And after the speaking activity tomorrow, you'll have time to either work with your groups to complete the activity if you didn't have a chance to finish, um, or you can spend time tomorrow working on your episode, your podcast episode. I'm asking everyone again to speak four to four and a half minutes in your podcast <clears throat> episode. And... And yeah, that's what we'll, we'll be doing tomorrow. All right. The last thing I want to mention, uh, and this is just a quick grammar question. Um, if you notice in the chat, I posted, we convene at 9.48 a.m. Uh, to close today's class. So the verb convene, or the word reconvene, sorry. What does that mean? What's the meaning of reconvene? What do, you, what do you think that means? It's like, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but como volver a reunirse? Mm -hmm. Means we're, we're coming back to class, basically, right? We're going to come back uh, at 940. Now, what verb tense am I using when I say we reconvene at 940? Which verb tense? Uh, simple present tense. Simple present. How am I using the simple present tense in this example? What's the use? How am I using the simple present in this example? We reconvene at 940. Oh, um, it, it, it is uh, will or we will or we. We reconvene. All right. So what's, what's the verb tense then? What's, what is it expressing? What's the, how is it, am I using it? To express what? Um, for, Sorry, can you say that again? Future. The future tense. Like for mm -hmm. something that is going to happen in the future. That's right. So when you guys are looking and reviewing your verb tenses, make sure that you try to list out the different usage, the different uses of each of the verb tenses. This is an example of using the simple present to express the future, all right? And so whenever you're working with your grammar uh, and teacher and you're 
you're organizing your notes and you're looking online for the verb tenses, write out the different usages for each of the verb tenses because that's where uh, it gets a little bit difficult sometimes looking at the same verb tense and looking at the different ways that it can actually be used. Okay, so just a quick grammar tip there. Um, so, all right, guys, we'll stop there for today. It's 945. I know you have class at 10. Uh, tomorrow, you know what to expect. Please arrive a few minutes early. If you arrive uh, later, I'm only going to present the question one time at the very beginning because, again, I want to move one to the next, one person to the next. You don't have to say your name. You don't have to do anything but just answer uh, the, the question, okay? All right, guys, thanks. I hope you have a, a good day today, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You too. Have a good day. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Um, for example, we now create a sway. We are going to share to you the link to just see it. Yes, uh, tomorrow what I was going to do... Um, I'll ask everyone to share their link tomorrow. I, I'm not asking now because I, maybe some aren't comp finished. Um, but yes, tomorrow I will ask that you share the link and I'll, I'll uh, let you know where I would like for you to share that link. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.